I'm Swara Sathe. I am Gagan Tauri. And I am Akshit Jagam. We have made a model on preventing pollution of water by controlling the pH. The title of our project is pH Balancer, a project that can save lives. We were inspired by the Ambazri Lake in Nagpur. We even went to Ambazri Lake to check the pH of the water level. As you might be knowing, many fishes died in the Ambazri Lake due to the change in the pH level. But why is pH important? The optimum pH level for fish is from 6.5 to 9. If the pH levels move away from this range, it can stress the animal's hatching and survival rates. The pH can also affect the solubility and toxicity of chemicals and heavy metals in the water. But how does the pH balancer work? pH sensor whose output voltage is in microvolts. To convert the microvolts into volts, we have used an amplifier circuit. These voltage signals are to be converted into 0 to 14 pH scale. For this, we have used a microcontroller. To run a microcontroller, we need a power supply. So, we have taken a step down transformer, which converts 220 volts AC into 12 volts AC. Then, we have converted 12 volts AC into 12 volts DC by using rectifiers. Remember, we are using 12 volts as we are using two pumps that will be needing 12 volts to properly function. So, 12 volts was compulsory for us. But the microcontroller does not work at 12 volt power supply. It only works at 5 volt. That's why we've added a regulation circuit which gives the microcontroller a constant 5 volt. Once the microcontroller gets the power supply, it checks the voltage level coming from the signals and displays it on the LCD display. The LCD display shows the pH level on the scale of 0 to 14. We have put the pH probe in the acidic solution. If the pH level is below 6.5, then it is detected as acidic and the command is given by the microcontroller to the pump submerged in the basic solution to start working. The pump pours 15 ml after every 20 seconds until the time the water is neutralized. If the pH level of the water is above 8.5, then the water is detected as basic or alkaline. The command is then given to the pump submerged in the acidic solution from the microcontroller to pour 15 milliliters of the acidic solution into the water till the time the water is neutralized. To operate the pumps, we have used a driver IC as the microcontroller only works on 5 volts and the maximum output voltage it can give is again 5 volts and the pumps only work on 12 volts. So, we have taken a driver IC which amplifies the signals coming from the microcontroller into 12 volts so that the pump can properly function. Simultaneously, the level of pH, temperature and humidity is being measured by the temperature and humidity sensor. All these parameters that we are measuring are being sent to an IoT server. You can also access the data on your device from an app called ThinkShow. For this, a GSM module has been used. This is the ThinkShow app which I opened in my device. This shows the temperature according to the date and the time. This shows the humidity according to the date and time. And this shows the pH of water according to the date and the time. By using this dynamic pH balancer, we are achieving several sustainable goals set by the UN. We are assuring the health and the well-being of the aquatic organisms. The health and the well-being of the citizens would have been taken care of as there will be less water pollution and less water-related diseases. And since there will be fewer diseases, the cities and the communities will be sustainable in the long run. Since there will be less water pollution, the environment and the climate will be cleaner. The aquatic organisms will live longer as will not be harmed due to changes in the pH level. The water used for irrigation should be neutral, otherwise there will be a negative impact on the soil. The pH balancer will make sure that the water remains neutral. This dynamic pH balancer can save many lives. And make the world a better place to live in. Thank, Thank you. you.